Water Resources Sources of Water India's water resources are primarily classified into surface water and groundwater. Surface Water India's surface water resources include major rivers like the Ganges, Brahmaputra, Yamuna, and Godavari, which play a crucial role in the country's water supply. Important lakes such as Wooler Lake in Jammu and Kashmir, Dal Lake in Srinagar, and Chilika Lake in Odisha also contribute significantly. Reservoirs formed by damming rivers, like Bakra Nungal on the Sutlej River and Hira Kud on the Mahanadi River, provide water for irrigation, drinking, and industrial use. Additionally, smaller water bodies such as ponds and tanks are vital for local water needs and irrigation, supporting agricultural activities in various regions. Groundwater Groundwater in India is stored in aquifers, which are layers of water-bearing rock or sediment found extensively in states like Punjab, Haryana, and Uttar Pradesh. Traditional sources of accessing groundwater include dug wells and tube wells, which have been used for centuries. Additionally, natural groundwater outflows known as springs are commonly found in hilly and mountainous regions, providing essential water sources for these areas. Need for Conservation and Conservation Practices Need for Conservation The depletion of water resources due to over-extraction of groundwater and excessive use of surface water has become a significant concern. Rapid population growth is further escalating the demand for water across agriculture, industry, and domestic use. Additionally, climate change is affecting the availability and distribution of water resources making conservation efforts more critical. Pollution from industrial discharge, agricultural runoff, and untreated sewage is contaminating water bodies, exacerbating the scarcity of clean water. Conservation Practices Rainwater harvesting, the practice of collecting and storing rainwater for later use, is an essential conservation method. It reduces dependency on groundwater, mitigates floods, and improves groundwater recharge. Common methods include rooftop rainwater harvesting and surface runoff harvesting. Efficient water use is also crucial, particularly in agriculture, where water-saving techniques like drip irrigation and sprinkler systems can significantly reduce water consumption. Recycling and awareness. Recycling and reusing water by treating wastewater for industrial processes and landscaping can conserve substantial amounts of water. Public awareness campaigns play a vital role in educating the community about the importance of water conservation and promoting sustainable use. These campaigns can help instill water-saving habits and encourage the adoption of conservation practices at individual and community levels. Irrigation Importance of irrigation Irrigation is vital for agricultural productivity as it ensures the availability of water for crops, leading to higher yields and enhanced food security. It plays a crucial role in drought mitigation by providing a reliable water supply during dry periods, thereby reducing the risk of crop failure. Moreover, irrigation supports the livelihoods of farmers and significantly contributes to the rural economy, fostering economic stability in agrarian communities. Methods of Irrigation Surface Irrigation Surface irrigation involves distributing water over the soil surface by gravity. The main types of surface irrigation are furrow, basin, and border strip irrigation. This method is simple and low cost, making it accessible for many farmers. However, it is often inefficient in terms of water use and can lead to waterlogging and soil erosion if not managed properly. Drip irrigation. Drip irrigation delivers water directly to the plant roots through a network of pipes and emitters. This method is highly efficient in terms of water use, as it reduces evaporation and runoff. It is also suitable for uneven terrain, making it versatile for different farming conditions. The main drawbacks are the high initial cost and the maintenance requirements to keep the system functioning effectively. Sprinkler irrigation. In sprinkler irrigation, water is sprayed over the crops through a system of pipes and sprinklers. This method can be used on a variety of terrains and for different types of crops, providing uniform water distribution. However, it has a high initial cost and can suffer from wind drift and evaporation losses, which can reduce its overall efficiency. 
Subsurface irrigation. Subsurface irrigation involves applying water below the soil surface, directly to the root zone. This minimizes evaporation and runoff, making it an efficient use of water. Despite its advantages, subsurface irrigation has high installation and maintenance costs and requires careful management to prevent clogging of the irrigation system. Thank you.